I love your hair so much. I really need to go. I love your eyes. I love... <laughs> no. Oh no. God. We all know you've loved him since day one. I'm so unwell right now. <laughs> Welcome to part two of my reaction to Heartstopper season two. I am going to be reacting to episodes five to eight all the way to the finale. Just like in part one, I am joined by my very good friend, Victoria. Yeah, really, really, really good friend. Anyway, so because I'm pretty sure I'll still cry in the finale, I might as well profit off of my tears once again. So I would like to thank today's sponsor. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I started taking Skillshare classes when it was super early in my design career and I knew nothing about graphic design and it was a great way to up-level my career. Even if it's not any specific hard skill, they have stuff for business, marketing, entrepreneurship, really anything that's perfect for someone who's looking to do a creative career. There are so many illustration and character design classes, but one class that really stood out to me lately is one called Character Animation Basics. This is taught by a motion designer and an illustrator from Brazil, and he teaches you how to animate a bouncing ball in After Effects and use it as a reference for creating frame-by-frame -frame character animations. I love how it's super simple for beginners by starting you off with that very easy motion of a ball bouncing so that you can see how it applies to these characters. And it's so cool to see all of the work that other students have made. So if you're interested in trying this class or pretty much any of the classes on Skillshare, the first 1,000 people who click on the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring and now let's head back to the video. It's the being left on red for me. We get into some daddy issues. You live in Paris and you never see your son. Why are you not texting him back? That's so crazy. It's not that big. You know why you say it's not bad? Because you saw that shit and you're like, it's not a fucking bruise the size of a planet. <laughs> We're gonna live that shit down. Oi, Charlie Spring, who gave you that hickey? <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Way to get it Y'all are in a pool of women. Get some cover up. Hello, there's no scarf. Yeah, scarf, cover up, a turtleneck. We have so many options. You can tie a bandana around your neck. Something to be proud about, isn't it? Getting some action. <laughs> Is it true James McEwen gave you that? He's the only other gay guy. Oh my you know god. What? High school drama is so boring because literally, if someone had a hickey, I would not give a shit. Now, if it was the size of a fucking planet, then I'd I be think... like, are you okay? Did someone hit you with their lips? You know exactly what you're doing. That hickey is so small. People are being so extra about that. It's literally tiny. He literally looks like he got bitten by a mosquito. Charlie Spring and James McEwen. <laughs> Hush. Did that shit on purpose. Nick Nelson and Ben Hope. Oh, fuck. I knew it. I knew it. Next, we have Tara and Darcy. Yo, they're literally just saying, let's pair the bi's together, the gays together, and the lesbians together. These pairings are biased. I want to talk about what happened at the Paris trip meeting. Remember when we were walking into Chura? No. Not really. Girl, she's pissing me off now too. I also think this is kind of forced. Like she's being so dense for what? Because she's afraid of her feelings or whatever. Throw the fuck up. <laughs> look, look at him. Look at him. You happy? Shut up. Shut up. I hate him. What if I said I want Charlie back? Then fuck off. What do you mean? Also, did we watch the same show? He's not gonna want to get back with you. The Absolutely fuck? Not. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. <laughs> Darcy, get the fuck up. You're annoying me right now. For real. I say this with a piece of love, of course. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be hanging out right now. More people might think it was you who, you know. You do know it, it was me, right? Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? Yo, what the fuck? Chill. Oh Let's God. chill. Bro, you're You know what? Like... Something about the Eiffel Tower getting up there, the height elevation. Like, goddamn. It's changing some people. Wow. Wow. He was acting his ass off. Why was he acting up? I was like, get some on the Eiffel Tower. We've been friends since the first day of year seven. Hey, I'm Tell. Oh my god, cute. Oh my god, he has a little look his hair. It was cute back then. We gotta leave it back then, you know? <laughs> oh, is he gonna do Charlie and Tao? Cute! I'm too mentally ill right now. That I is can't. so sweet. 
People might think you gave me the sticky if you keep this up. So, I help to deflect the rumors. And that's on being secure in your masculinity. For real. I love that they did that. Charlie was like, you know what's just as important as the relationship yeah, with my boyfriend? The fucking bros. Not the bros. Bro love. Ew. The homies. I guess that's true of real life as well. You don't have to understand your feelings completely to know you like something. You don't have to always have figured everything out. You can just feel. Wait, where are we going? No idea. What are you looking at? Oh, just the painting. He's like, I don't even care about this painting. I was just making shit up so she would go <laughs> get with Sal. Jeez. He's so Delulu. He is so Delulu. Derogatory. The derogatory kind of Delulu. Should we get going? No. Oh no. What? What's going on? Why did he get possessed all of a sudden? Do we not have the, the same physique? <laughs> same drama? <laughs> do the pose and then I'll see Okay. Ooh, next. You should do a pose where you say oh. the truth for once. I don't know what's going on, but I do think this is also me trying out this new antidepressant. <gasps> He's gonna pass out. I'm gonna, bro, eat a sandwich. This ain't okay. <laughs> I say as I also have not been feeding myself. We going through it together. Aw, he loves her. Oh, so much. He is so ridiculously in love with her. They're really letting all this shit go oh, down in Paris, sure. huh? What just happened? You just, um, you passed out. You okay? I'm tearing up because he's so concerned, but he doesn't know why yet. If you ever did that, I would be freaking the hell out. Oh, if I fainted? Yes. Charlie, I've noticed you uh, don't really eat a lot, generally. I don't know, it kind of feels like it's it's worse lately. The tears are flowing. Some days I'm fine, but other days I feel like I need to control it. I still want to know if you're feeling like that, if you're having a bad day, or if there's anything that I can do to make things less stressful. I'm your boyfriend, Charlie, and I... I really care about you. Oh, he wants to say I love you. He wants to say it so bad. I fucking know. He was on the tip of his job. <laughs> but dude, if he said that shit to me, or you said that shit to me, I would be bawling in the yeah. middle of this museum right now. <laughs> if we were in this situation, would you feed me like a baby bird? That's what you needed. Yes. Wow. That's love. You don't actually don't look like you're cringing. You look like you're blushing. I quite am a not. Lot. Oh, no. No. The guy's like, no gay activity here. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Where are we actually going this way? Oh. I'm pretty sure them running would be worse than what they were doing earlier. But, you know, whatever. I never mentioned your dad before. I had this idea that I might introduce you to him. I said I'd meet him in a cafe in 20 minutes. It's okay, Paris actually has a good public transportation system. If this was in New York, they'd be fucked. Their trains would be delayed for like five hours. He's never gonna see his dad again. <laughs> What if my reaction for the rest of this video is just me crying nonstop? That's okay. It's so good to see you in Paris. You never visit. Why haven't you visited? It's a two-way street. I was about to say probably didn't invite him. It's been really fun. Excuse me for a moment. If he fucking leaves. I'm sorry, boys. Something has come up and I just can't get out of it. Shut up. I wonder what lasted longer. Him seeing his dad or Cal and L trying to date. Doesn't care. He's giving narcissists. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just feel like we saw him for like five seconds. I don't know if I would call him a narcissist. Listen, I know him when I see him. Being raised by one, I know him when I see him. I have something to share. Me and I'll kiss. No, yes. Oh my god, they're so excited. Way to get it in, bro. Yes. Oh, that's cute. All right, now when we're gonna see those men kiss? You never did anything like that. No, oh, and you don't figure out your gay until your late twenties. Tend to miss out on those beautiful gay teenage experiences. This whole scene in the book, it made me cry. Really, it was so good. And a conversation they have later, cried my eyes out. Wow, they said color coordination, the greens, the oranges, the wardrobe designer really said, I'm gonna give these bitches everything except for Ben. Wow, it's really the way Paris healed everybody's problems. You really did. Oh my god, but how magical to like experience your first experiences of like love in Paris. Elle and Tao, like they're just beginning and to have like that magical, like that's so fun. You would always view Paris in like a very nostalgic, emotional way because of those experiences. It doesn't matter how crusty the streets are you'll just be like oh this is so romantic if you wanted some privacy with nick you could just say so bitch maybe you shouldn't have assumed we're taking different beds time to add hickey number two oh. yeah. the like one bottle of alcohol that's so funny uh oh she ain't feeling it oh it's the alcohol she's upset at 
get out. I need to pee. Too bad. That's such straight couple behavior. They have not stopped kissing since they kissed for the first time, and I love that for them. Yeah, they gotta make up for being so foolish in the first half of the season. Hey, I see you, Ace King. Who the fuck invited him? Nobody. I know Nick wants to beat his ass so bad. <laughs> that just teased me about Charlie. Do they all think the hickey was you? They look like brothers to me. That's what <laughs> I was just about to say. This feels incestual. And their level of awkwardness is also one-to-one. -one. It's like sweet though. I just wish they didn't look similar. Yeah, but that's how the gays are. It's... Oh, no. He's like, that's not for me. I'm sorry. Something about a sad gay song is bringing emotions out of me. Oh my god. Dude, I feel you, King. Oh my god. I'm crying sympathy tears right now. They love each other. So much. So much. I know I've said some homophobic stuff in the past, and I'll never say anything like that again. Are we cool? Can we come in? No. Oh, that's, that's such a big moment because he's such a people pleaser and just like never sticks up for himself. And he just said, it's no, no, you can't come in. And that's on drawing boundaries. What I totally understand though is how come we were able to say no to those people? How did Ben fucking get in here? <laughs> Golly, come on, I know you've loved me for years. <laughs> <laughs> He's really funny, actually. And that's on someone who is secure in their masculinity. He may not be secure in himself, but in his masculinity, yes, he is. He is having a crisis right now. But at least he's having a crisis in Paris. I'm trying to hold off the lightning and help you escape from your head. These sad gay songs are making me emotional. Folklore? Did you see that? She had a folklore vinyl. Look at Nick reflecting on the moment when Imogen chewed the bend the fuck up. A core memory. Just kidding. He's only focusing on Charlie's eating disorder. That's fair. We gotta prioritize certain issues. I'm a I have slided into the DMs. Go away. Uh oh. Episode oh. title. Sorry. Sorry for what? You know, at least Elle is thriving. That's what's important. Nah, she's on some bullshit again. She ain't saying the truth. Wait, a place yet? I think she doesn't want to admit it because then that would mean that she's like moving away from them. But like everyone knows it, so just say the truth so that people can prepare accordingly. And Tao isn't someone to be like, oh, you're moving away so we can't be together. Like that's not him. Maybe she just wants to enjoy the moment while they have it or something. <sighs> All right, Lesbo, what's going on with you? Oh, this dark purple. Mm. Yep, something's going on at home. Something bad. Maybe her family like doesn't know. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe her parents are super conservative. Maybe they're Trump supporters. Not the begging. Maybe he doesn't care what he has to say to you. I'm telling you, something's going on with Ben. He's being yeah. fucking weird. I think the FBI needs to like go through his computer, his search history. <laughs> You look amazing. I don't know if I can afford it. I haven't got much left after. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'm not Oh my god. They're putting all their money together so she can get a suit. Shut up. Yeah, because we know her parents ain't giving her shit. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel when I have a crush on someone. I thought that I might feel that way about you, but then we kissed and I just knew that I didn't. Or maybe you just kissed and you opened your eyes and you realized you were looking at the fucking mirror. Stop. Man, I was gonna say, or maybe he's ace, but or the jokes. Bad. Did something happen? Something definitely happened. Did you kiss? Can you guys just shut up? Look, I get that you don't think my life is interesting unless I have some kind of romantic drama going on, but I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't like him back. Isaac. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. He kind of popped off with that one. Imagine if he just like fucking cursed everybody out. He's like, sorry, I'm not a fucking Esler like the rest of y'all. He would never do that. Bye, bitches. Get the fuck out of my way. But like, if he is Ace, that must be like so confusing to figure out too. Go, Okay, he's chill again. You know what? I wish I could have an emotional outburst and then just be chill again with everyone. Just be like, all right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> What's it about? Basically about my experience being aromantic and asexual. Damn, didn't know he had a triplet. Not look alike. They got the same hair. Do not. Being in a world where romance and sex are prized with everything else when you don't feel those forms of attraction, something 
about you is different, but you don't have the words to describe what that is. Euphoria of freeing yourself from those pressures and expectations. He's like, damn, your artwork sucks ass, but that explanation just made me realize something. <laughs> With this piece, I guess I wanted to capture a place that holds a lot of happy memories. One, two, three. Wow, it's in it. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, oh my God. Hey, I need to talk to you. Oh, son of a bitch. Not him stalking again. Come on, Nick, let's go beat his ass. Please, just hear me out. Yeah, I'm here yelling my fist. <laughs> I'm a messed up person, Charlie. We've been Yeah, there. water's wet. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Do you remember the first time you kissed me? You didn't even ask. And now whenever anything good happens in my life, there's a little voice in the back of my mind telling me I'm worthless. And now you want me to forgive you so you can feel better about yourself. Sorry doesn't make up for everything you did to me. I really hope you become a better person so you don't hurt anyone else. But I don't want to be there to see that happen. That's totally valid. Oh, swell said. And it's unfair to force that apology on him. Just like give him boundaries and space. I don't know. I think it's okay to apologize, but like not the way that he did just now. I think it's like, hey, like I know it doesn't fix anything. I'm really sorry. And I just wanted to say that. Have a great life. I'm not going to bother you anymore. Just the way he went about everything is so not good. Do we need to pretend to be platonic BFFs in front of your dad? Yeah, maybe just for now. I'm here for you, mate, pal, bro. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> this is you being like, my gal pal. My girly girl. Ah, uh, two peas in a pod on the couch. I'm glad she is freed from the clutches of that man. <laughs> Yeah, how did a mom end up with such a fucking loser? She was probably young and naive. Happens a lot. Uh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. These bitches better behave, I swear to God. Dad, has Nick told you how he met Charlie? Shut the fuck up. We got sat together in school and then Charlie joined the rugby team. And Nick was obsessed with getting Charlie to join. Wonder why. What is your problem? Dude, shut the fuck up. Sorry, beat him up. Charlie's my boyfriend. I was actually really stressed out about how I was going to tell you. But you know what? I don't care what you think about it anymore. Because you don't care to even see us more than two times a year. But your bullying just doesn't affect me anymore because quite simply, I do not care. He ate with that one. He's like, I don't give a fuck about all you basic bitches. Just gonna let him speak to us like that. Oh, David, be quiet. We've had quite enough from you, thank it's you. It's Nick that's making a scene. Dad agrees. You have not grown up into the men I had hoped you would be, David. As if you have any right to say that. Oh, 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 Damn! Oh. <laughs> Damn, shots are fucking fire, dude. Don't Let's lay it all out on the table. The dad is like, my son's a loser. And the mom's like, and what about you? She's like, whose fault is that, bitch? <laughs> How'd he learn that, huh? I, I want to be better. Well, tell it then. And just say it. I know this is hitting all your daddy issues right now. Oh, shut up. Honestly, this could have gone over way worse. It could have it like, been way worse. Like, yeah, he doesn't really care, but at least he's not like, my son is not going to be an ex-slur. He's just like, okay, time to fuck off back to London. Oh, Tori has had enough. Oh, let's fucking go. Kick him in the face. Yeah, yeah, kick it. You are a pathetic little man. Talk about my brother like that again, and I'll end you. What if he was like, that's hot. I got that the first second. I was like, don't you dare. If this were a straight Netflix show, you know they would try to pair the two of them together. So, problem tomorrow? That went well. I feel like it wasn't that bad. Babe, uh, it did not what? go well. It didn't go that bad. <laughs> it could have been worse. I've seen more toxic dinners. Charlie didn't eat very much. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta take care of this eating disorder situation quick. Wow. Oh my God. I knew something was going on at home. My Mom's God. a homophobe. I haven't cried yet. I'm going strong, babe. I've cried twice already, so I don't know what you're doing. I know you cried twice. You have to. Oh my God. You've done to me. Oh my I God. Oh my God. Okay, my next Insta post. <laughs> I'm calling it. What, we gotta stage that photo now? Yeah! The question is, who the fuck took that photo? We set it up. Oh, they just made me so soft. <laughs> I don't have to hide my amazing boyfriend anymore. Everything's perfect. So we're gonna go to prom and we're gonna be the cutest couple there and everyone will see. What's with the hesitation? He's worried that he's making it worse, that he is actually stressed, so it's making his eating disorder worse. Oh, that's, that's fuck. Why, that's why he doesn't know what's going on, because it's like, your life has never been this good, but then, like, why are you relapsing, kind of, like, not eating? My God. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Yes. Hey, 
Where's Darcy? She's probably just slept in. Yeah, she's slept in the streets. Your girlfriend's homeless, dude. Let me fix it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Not them having disposable income to be ruining their outfits like that. Is it true you guys are going out? Duh, he posted about it on Instagram. <laughs> What's there to gossip about? He literally shared it. Yeah. I didn't know you were gay, Nick. Can you fucking read an Instagram caption? Read the caption. Where's your reading comprehension? Do you want to stop and get something to eat? I'll eat later. I had a really late breakfast. Oh, you fucking liar. You skinny, malnourished liar. <laughs> Babe. The more I learn about him, the more I think that the bullying, all the things that happened to him in the past, they all really have affected him and he still carries it all with him. This is you telling people, the more I know about Cindy, the more fucked up she actually is. You know the bullying, you know how bad it was, don't you? Charlie never really talked to me about it. Me neither. That's how you know it was really bad. Yeah. Can I please open my eyes now? Aw, he's cute. That's a little penguin! He looks like a little nutcracker. How about we don't go to prom? We just stay here instead. No, we have to go. Everyone's expecting us to go together now. A big public appearance is a couple words. That's definitely what we want. Yeah. Everybody's a fucking liar this season. <laughs> Lying while smiling. I don't like that. She's texting Darcy like, listen, if you're not gonna wear the suit, can you like at least Venmo everybody back the money? That's not nice. God, the fact that she's still wearing the suit and she's just so tormented and upset. Like she has literally just like been in the park this whole time. Yeah, she needs to at least go to prom, you know? Don't let your mom ruin it for you. Just tell somebody so that they don't think you're just like abandoning them. This really goes to show if you're going through something, you gotta tell people. You gotta tell your friends because they'll support you and help you. Who says the one who never tells her friends that she needs help? Where's Dossie? Oh, she's running late. She's going dumpster diving for dinner before meeting up with us first. Babe, so mean. Be nice. I do wish it was socially acceptable to bring books to social events. I don't think she's coming. I know something's wrong, but she never wants to talk about it. How do you talk to someone about something that they don't want to talk about? Oof. He's like, don't I know it? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. He's like, let's start a support group. They're just that aesthetically pleasing couple where they're both like skinny legends. Oh my God, is Imogen about to have an awakening right now? <gasps> I don't know. Either way, she looks slay. Oh my uh -oh. God. God. It's always the one straight in the friend group that ends up Damn. a late bloomer. <laughs> don't I know it. This really just goes to show that if you are constantly hanging out with a gay group of friends, they will start to infect you too. No. Oh, Bro, you about to get no. hate crime. And if they're homophobic, they might be also racist. No, 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 no. This is so bad. Uh-oh. I see the homophobia in her eyes. She hasn't been replying to my messages. Is she okay? And how would I know that? Because you're her mom, you fucking bitch. She had another one of her tantrums last night. Over an outfit. She looked like a lesbian. She'll realize she was in the wrong, but she'll come straight back. Okay, I gotta go. Oh my- She's giving cunt behavior. I was just and about not... to say, she's a and oh. not in the sleigh way. Oh. Aww. I am so in love with you. I just, I'm bad at saying it. Practice makes perfect. I love you. 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 Oh my God, it's Taylor Swift. Not only do I know you were crying from this conversation, but the moment Taylor Swift started playing, I knew it was over for you. This song is so queer coded anyways. That feeling when everyone has left and then you can just relax. You okay, babe? Shut up. You never told me about the bullying. We didn't need to talk about that. Everything's fine now. Is it though? Your plate would beg to differ. People would just call me disgusting to my face. And it went on for so long that I think I started to believe what they were saying. It made me really hate myself. I used to cut myself sometimes. I don't want to feel like that anymore. I'm fighting bad tears right now. Oh my god, he's so... No. Can you promise to tell me if it ever gets that bad? But I've done so many things that were scary in the past few months because you were there. And I want to be that for you too. Look who's crying now. You know why? It's because the actor for Nick is so good. He's so you good. Can, you can really tell that he cares so deeply for Charlie. And even with him crying, he really fucking ate that scene. I love your hair so much. I really need to go. I love your eyes. I love...
<laughs> no. Oh no. Nikki, I'm home. Bob, get out of here. <laughs> Just fucking say it, dude. Just say it. Oh my it. god. We all know you're fucking thinking it. We all know you've loved him since day one. <laughs> I'm so unwell right now. <laughs> <laughs> So worried. Do you find some of this relatable, babe? Baby. Yeah, when he said that he didn't want to tell his boyfriend stuff because he doesn't want to be a burden, I'm like, oh, not me relating to the skinny legend. Oh my God, say it. Say it, you fucking expert. I, I mean, I get wanting to say it in person. <laughs> Wait, that's how it ends? Come on. Wait, was that the last episode? <laughs> Come on, dude. Bro, nah. <laughs> that felt like part one of a new season, you know? Well, I just took like 20 emotional damage. <laughs> I think it made me tear up just to see how much he cared about his boyfriend going through stuff. Because I know when I go through stuff, it affects me too. So that's why it made me tear up. Mine was the same reason, but like reverse, obviously. Now you seeing me in that little twink. I don't think I cried this hard in season one either. I think you definitely held back more in season one. But this time in season two, you could not hold back. I mean, it could also be because our relationship was still very new. And I never like made a video with you or like, I was very aware that I was like being filmed. I guess I'm not as afraid to be embarrassing anymore. <laughs> I also feel like we were pretty new to our relationship when we first started filming. And I feel like obviously we've been dating for more than a year so I think a lot of the stuff that like is shown with what they're dealing with in their relationship is like similar dynamic to us I did feel that way about season one though like I wasn't like out to my family or like that was when I was coming out to like friends and stuff I related to season one as well with him like figuring out that he was bisexual too. Wow, not us growing with these characters as we watch the rest of these seasons. They going through shit like we going through shit too. I think this is just like one of the most special things that's ever happened on like media. I don't know, just to see like such a full story and so many like different perspectives of queer people having different different parents, different family dynamics, friendships, sexual like it's all just so it's all very real in a way that i've never seen like on so the british actually got one thing right for once <sighs> okay well we have finally finished watching heartstopper season two my next video will be my reaction to red white royal blue i haven't seen it yet victoria has though she really likes the movie haven't you rewatched it like three times already i was in the middle of my third before we started watching <laughs> today okay well i still need to watch it so i'll be sure to fill my reaction and i'll be the next video so go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and goodbye